Congress is taking action today, trying to help out small businesses who've been devastated by the coronavirus pandemic as well as the social distancing rules. Skylar Henrich joins us now with more details from the White House. The House is expected to pass a nearly $500 billion stimulus package today. We have to be very prayerful, and we have to be as bipartisan as we can possibly be, as united, working together. The bill provides another $310 billion for the small business loan program that keeps workers employed after the first round of funding ran out in just two weeks. $60 billion is designated to help rural and minority-owned small businesses. At a time of great crisis, Congress has continued to function and has come together in a bipartisan manner and has done important work on behalf of the American people. But even before this latest bill is signed, the battle lines are being drawn over the next round of stimulus spending. Democrats want to include money to support state and local governments, which have been decimated by the pandemic. But Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he's okay letting states declare bankruptcy. It's also time to begin to think about the amount of debt that we're adding to our country and the future impact of that. President Trump says he's not worried about the government taking on more debt. This was an attack. This wasn't just, oh, gee. And this wasn't the flu, by the way. You know, they like to say the flu. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. The president asked his CDC director to clarify comments that a second wave of the coronavirus this winter could be more difficult because it coincides with flu season. I'm accurately quoted in the Washington Post as, as difficult. But Dr. Robert Redfield says he disagrees with the Washington Post headline, which said the second wave could be more devastating. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.